Hey everyone, this is Mike. I'm going to share seven new tools that will help you grow in 2019. Tool number one, history search. This is essentially a plugin that turns any website into searchable document. So we all use a browser suggestions, you know, when we type in the address or the part of the title, the browser searches through our history and suggests which link might have been, uh, that might be the one that we are looking for. What history search does is, is going a step further. So they parse all the text that's visible within websites that we uh, visit and then it becomes searchable. So we can find uh, if we remember something about the article, if we remember something about the conversation we had on intercom or uh, Slack or J Jira uh, and we type in the, the, the specific keyword, it will suggest the URL of the let's say the website that had contained this keyword. So numerous applications saves ton of time. It's already integrated with a number of cool, cool platforms, including Google Docs, obviously uh, Office 365, Intercom, you know, Jira, Gmail, obviously YouTube. So it's, uh, it's sort of like browser suggestions, but on steroids. So uh, it's super useful, saves a ton of time. It's not specifically, you know, a marketing tool of any sorts, but I feel like it will save time. So I thought I could share it. Tool number two called boxycook.co. Yeah, you, you'll probably like the link in the description. Uh, so this is essentially uh, a mix between if this, then that, and products like uh, Google Studio. So essentially this allows you to create a beautiful dashboard with just a few clicks. So you can create a simple, very usable dashboard and instantly connect specific parts of the dashboard, specific fields, boxes, sections with uh, many different sources of data. Uh, again, sources of data like, uh, uh, you know, your CRM, your intercom, your uh, you know, Twitter account, MailChimp account, uh, uh, YouTube. So a number of applications. First and for foremost, you can create a cool dashboard like used internally within your company. You can put it on screen somewhere within the company. So it boosts uh, the morale, uh, I would suggest. Um, another application could be to use and leverage social proof. So you can embed this on your website. You can embed numbers that are showing your potential clients that they are a part of the larger community so you can you know brag about numbers like visits on your sites or, or views so uh, or a number of emails sent with your marketing automation or number of conversations you had with clients from intercom so number of cool stats that will uh, boost your credibility um, by embedding them on the website so another really really cool really fresh product third tool is called squad this is essentially an app that allows you to share your screen from your mobile phone so it's kind of a product designed for people who want to do shopping from mobile phones together but i found it pretty useful to uh, work and collaborate with developers designers working on mobile app or a mobile version of our product or our website. Tool number four, a hammer. I mean, uh, this is pretty useful when it comes down to assembling a furniture. We just had the new um, rooms, uh, new uh, creative rooms in our company set up. We had to do some assembling. I uh, Sadly, I was not part of it, but so, you know, at least from what I've heard, uh, hammer, is pretty useful tool that will help you grow as a company as well. So this, this, this section was supposed to be funny because, you know, the hammer, you know, the video is about tools, uh, you know, marketing tools, product, uh, productivity tools, but you know, hammer is also a tool. So I, I, I thought it's going to be funny if I put it on the list.
tool number five called Planable. This is a platform that allows you to collaborate with other team members to create and publish content on your social media channels. So I feel like it's mostly for agencies that typically work with their clients and uh, in some way they need approval for specific types of content, specific posts on social. So essentially you have a person responsible for uh, you know approving specific part parts of content on social media channels this way it makes it so much easier because you can design schedule and you know prepare everything within the platform uh, ready to go uh, and then you can just get a you know a sign off from a uh, from a decider uh, on the side of the client. So uh, pretty useful, uh, pretty cool for agencies, pretty cool design as well. So yeah. Tool number six called Live Session. This is essentially a platform that allows you to see session replays. So you can see what clients see when they are browsing through your website. This is uh, pretty similar to what Hotjar is doing, but I found that Live Session has uh, filters and segments unlike any other tool. They are also pretty affordable uh, in comparison to other leading platforms for, for website analytics out there. Plus, they are, they are from Poland, they are from Wroclaw, from what I believe. So uh, really cool to see products, more and more products, more and more SaaS platforms, um, you know, growing, going global uh, from Poland. Fingers crossed for their platform. It looks really nice. Um, I'm looking forward to testing it. And the last tool is called Lead Honestly. It kind of sounds like a lead generation tool because there's obviously lead has a word and a name, but uh, it's actually a platform that helps you to manage one-on-one -on -one meetings within your team. So for, um, for any type of manager, or even if you collaborate with other team members, if you have one-on-one -on -one meetings, it's super helpful to keep track of the promises, of the, uh, you know, some of the efforts, some of the tasks that, the, that they are running or you are supposed to be running. Uh, it's also a pretty cool platform because um, it allows you to track the, uh, let, let's say, uh, the happiness of the, the team member, uh, how frustrated they might be with latest efforts or latest tasks. So uh, I used to use uh, Trello for this. I would have just the columns in one of the boards. I would have the columns where I listed all the, let's say, the tasks, all the things we agreed to, to, to work on um, on one on one meetings, uh, all, all the new you know projects for specific team members. But this feels like much better solution because it's uh, it, it also allows me to review each meeting to, you know, so, some uh, in a way rate the vibe that we had within the meeting itself. And this way I can track, uh, you know, the, the, the efficiency, I can track the mood, I can, you know, maybe uh, I don't have to remember if somebody was frustrated or not with, you know, team growing, it becomes harder uh, and harder to, to track. So again, pretty cool platform. Um, I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to using it. All right. I hope you find this tools useful. If you like what I'm trying to do here, please subscribe, please, you know, like the video if you find it helpful anyway and I'll see you soon.